We are back with Black Clover episode 9. Last week during episode 8, we watched Ask to tool the chores for everyone. Yami and Magna lose their clothes while playing poker. And then Noel pushed Asta to his death. Well, almost his death. And then we also got to see some suspicious figures going to the village, looking for a stone and killing those boars that look like hell boars. And now we're going into it. And we're probably going to run into a bunch of stuff because this episode is titled Beast. So let's jump into my reaction and discussion for this week's episode. Welcome to Nonstop Antonio, where I talk about everything nerdy. I love Marvel, DC, and anime. And if you do too, I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so we're starting with Asta getting launched in the sky. What a lovely start. Oh, so the boars are actually here. They didn't, those guys didn't kill them all. Okay. So, so okay, they're talking about the wild boars. Is, so are wild boars just typically flaming? They're not just... Okay, it... Okay, I was like, are they just used to this? But Asta's uh, pointing out that, no, they're not. What is going on here? That thing is gigantic. It reminds me of Pokemon, but I can't think of which one. <laughs> oh, Asta. <laughs> if you're worried, you go save him. But she's royalty. She doesn't want to do that. Oh, never mind. She's actually going to do that, of course. She's gonna aim and hit Asta, 100%. She's gonna aim for the boar and manage to hit Asta. Yep, yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Asta's just taking a beating. Ooh. Hey, look, he's got it with his sword. He just knocks it right out. Surprised he didn't slice it up into a bunch of pieces. Yeah, there's like a bunch of other ones, right? Yep, oh my god. So, what, like, are, these aren't just regular boars, right? These look like I said earlier, hell boars. That's that, that's exactly what they look like. They're like flaming. They got weird markings on them. And Asta is carrying the dead bodies. Oh, Magnus too, but he's only carrying one. No, oh, he was a real troublemaker. He was less of a good person and more like I'm just gonna cause shit and take over kind of person. Ooh. Oh, dude, just summoned a bunch of swords. Yeah, I'd be uh. Time for your punishment. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm just getting his ass smacked by swords. He got his ass kicked every single time he went to this village to try to bug him. Oh, my God. This guy is, you know, he's, sound, he's, he's weirdly strong. So he wanted to be a magic exam. I guess something changed in his life that he decided not to do it. But then he got him to do the magic magic night exam. You know, even though they were fighting for so long, I feel like he was helping him train in the end so that he could get better. Aww. Fulfill the dream that I couldn't do. Be a man. Touching moment. <laughs> Uh-oh, the village is going to be destroyed, isn't it? He knows something's up. Oh, there's a big, like, it's like a, it's like a dome of mist. So those bad guys, they're going to run into them, man. It's going to be a fight. Okay, we're going to go into our first big, well, I guess second big fight. I mean, the first big fight was kind of the first one off the bat, but this, I would say this is probably roughly this, the first big fight. We're also in episode 9, I think there's 13 episodes in this first arc, which I'll do discussion afterwards for it. But yeah, looking forward to the fight that's going to take down, come down soon. Come here, let's tip, put him up. Cut through the mist with your sword. I mean, hey. <laughs> that's a dumb thing to say. <laughs> it's just like, oh yeah, yeah, it's magic, okay. <laughs> It just kind of disperses the magic and gets rid of it. Asta's just going to walk right into it, isn't he? 100%. Oh. Oh, it's all the villagers. They all look beaten and battered. Even the kids. Yo, these guys fight them? Did these guys beat up? Oh, I see. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Bro was going to slaughter the whole village. Holy shit, but Magna's coming in for his explosive moves to destroy all those goddamn ice crystals. 
Dude was gonna obliterate an entire freaking village. These guys are real bad guys. <gasps> He's gonna be dead. His mentor. <gasps> He's been taken out. The one that could defend the village the, the best is dead. Oh, Ass is not used to death. He's gonna learn a lot when he gets into this. Oh shit, is Magna gonna die? Like, are we gonna meet him? He's gonna be dead after this just because of this fight? You'll be executed in 10 seconds. What? Bro, that's like a giant. Oh, come on, Asta, cut through it. Deflect it. Do something. Asta, you got this. Asta's gonna be the hero? Yep. Yep, here he comes with his sword. He's just gonna go right into the fight. This is what a true hero does. He doesn't even. Yep, cuts it in half. Boom, easy peasy. Asta's got this. Asta's the true seeker weapon. I'm interested in finding out who these guys are, though. Who are these guys? I don't know. Someone with the giant power of magic, some sort. Oh, and now they're going to be questioning how the magic knights got in here. But Ass is the one. He's their secret weapon. Ooh. Oh, no. Ass is going to get launched back, isn't he? He's just running into a fight without really thinking. Oh, it didn't work. Didn't work. Your missed magic won't work here. There's another realm? Located in the Forsaken Realm. Most of those that inhabit the Forsaken Realm are an inferior race that can only use enough magic to complete daily tasks. So is that just not the basic commoners who are on the outskirts? Oh, this guy doesn't see people as human. They just see them as nothing because they can't use magic. Oh, they do not realize that he's from a, a, one of the common outskirts. He sees people as people. And he's about to fuck some shit up because of that. That's the one thing about... That's the one thing about, like, I find with shows, realms, worlds like this, is that when you have people who are more powerful, they look at everyone below below them as nothing. And they there's always that class system that kind of people determine who they are based on it. But because you have the perfect people who usually come from the commoners or the ones that are high, rise above and prove that everyone's still a person and prove that no matter who you are, you shouldn't be treated like shit. And I'm assuming that's what Ass is going to do, and I like it. That's also why he's about to whoop some, whoop some ass, even if it gets him killed. He's going to send it all right back at the villagers, aren't they? Yeah, they're using the mist to hide the crystals that he's going to launch at them. Endless ice cage. Ooh. Ooh. They're just learning the ass's power so they can figure out how to go against him. They need to reach Yami and they need they need backup. They need Yami and everyone else. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I thought Noel had that time. I thought she got it, but apparently not. Oh, no, 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 no. People are going to die. People are going to die. It's going to be very, very dark. Oh, shit. I think it's going to be Noelle's moment to finally learn how to control her powers. I mean, it's pretty early on, but she needs to step up. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm not supposed to die in a village like this. You cannot talk like that. Come on, Noelle. Disgusting. That's disgusting. Talk. Look at the little girl. She wants you to save her. You're going to look in her eyes and run away? No, you're not. That's because you are have to be a hero. You're not about to run away. You got to learn that people are the same. Screw the class system. Who needs a class system? Everyone deserves life. Ooh, a new spell? Ooh, is this one she's actually going to be able to control? Maybe? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's like a water tornado that, or vortex or something that protects them. Ooh. Because she is royal blood, meaning her magic is going to be pretty strong. That Why is why do those look like, like tentacle waves? Ooh, shit. Yes, look. Hero moment. Hero moment. Hero moment. That's what we call a hero moment. And the episode's over, of course, is. Which, that means next episode we get Noelle's time to shine. So let's talk about it. I think what the show is going to really do well is showing us that even if you're a commoner, you're royalty, it doesn't matter. You're still human. You deserve life. And you deserve to be treated like a per person rather than being treated like a beast. Or someone who's below someone else. Like, no one's below, below anyone. And we're all equally in this world. At least... 
That's what Ass is gonna try to do and make everything better for everyone else. He's gonna fight to his death to save everyone he can, especially the people who don't have the power to fight for themselves, which I think is gonna be really cool to see. When they were fighting the boars, still interested in finding out why the boars were like that, but we didn't really get too much of an explainer. It was kind of just showing the boars, them being the boars, into the what's going on. This village is gonna get murdered by all these guys that we still don't know who they are. And it's kind of really dark. Like, the, the guy just wants to kill him because he sees them as beasts. He sees them as below them. Like, they're nothing. And the dude just wants to kill him because they're getting in his way. They're just people. Like, you probably could have put them all in one spot, not even worried about killing them, and been fine and not had to deal with any of them. So, these guys are real killers and savages, and they're, they will do anything. They'll do whatever they want because they are killers. But I like Asa just going in. Doesn't even question it. Charges into the fight. Because he's not about to let people die on his watch. Even though he's undertrained. He doesn't know how to use his powers. He's just going in. And I, it's really interesting to really show Noel being like, Oh, I'm going to run. I'm, I'm, I'm royalty. I shouldn't die in a village like this. Rather than thinking, Hey, I need to step up and help. And it took a little innocent girl on the ground to really teach her, I need to do this. I can't let these people die. What is wrong with me? It's time to stand up and fight. And I think... Having that courage unlock that new power, that like water vortex that surrounded them. And by her realizing that who, what she has to do, it kind of gave her that confidence, that courage, everything she needed to, to be a proper knight. And I think this will also be her slowly learning how to control her powers now because she's probably getting more in tune with her magic. But I'm looking forward to the next episode because we're going to truly see her hero moment and her step up to be that person. And I'm looking forward to it. What did you think of this episode? Let me know down in the comments. And if you like my anime reactions, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you want to see my other ones, check the description down below because I'll have them all listed. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you when we get to episode 10.